teachers, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, we talk everything special education. If that interests you, make sure you click the subscribe button and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Today's video is all about skip counting activities that I love to do with my students who receive special education services. If you are a teacher, make sure you comment below and tell me a little bit about yourself so I can get to know you. All of the activities that I'm going to be talking about today are linked in the description of this YouTube video or you can grab them in my TPT shop, Activity Teacher. Let's get into it. The first activity that I love to do with my students is task cards. There are so many different ways that you can use task cards, but my favorite way to use task cards is as an around the classroom scavenger hunt. So I like to tape these up around the classroom and students will search for them and solve the problem. And then students will record their answer using this recording sheet. The next thing that I like to do when teaching basically any topic is using exit tickets. Here is a skip counting exit ticket that I use at the end of every class period just to see how my students are doing with the topic of skip counting. It's kind of a quick way for me to see which students are still struggling with this topic and who is truly understanding what I'm teaching. The third activity that I like to do with my students is actually a packet, but I like to put this packet on my smart board to have students come up and solve the problems because it's kind of a fun way to keep students engaged. So for this activity, they will draw a line to each number to count by twos. So on your smart board, you'll, have, you'll use the pen tool and students will draw a line from two, four, six, eight, and so on. Then this is the same thing, counting by threes, counting by fives, tens, twenties, also counting by 25s. I love to teach my students counting by 25s because it gets them ready for when I teach them money. 50s and 100s, and then here we have count by tens and color all of the tens blue. So students will count by tens and color each one. And then we have fives, twenties, Skip count by twos, you'll have students draw, write in the correct answer in each blank. Skip count by threes, fives, tens, 25s, 50s, 100s. Then we have a couple of word problems that students will solve. I have two activities left for you. So this one is a this or that skip counting game. You will have your students get up and move by going to the side of the room that matches the correct answer. Here we have 50, 60, 70, and then of course 80 goes there. So students will move to this side of the room. And I'll just flip through some of the slides here so you can see what it includes. And the last activity that I have is a skip counting kaboom game because my students absolutely love kaboom. You will make two to four teams of students taking turns. Each team will choose a number. Students will click the number and the slide will either have a math problem or a kaboom. If the team gets a kaboom, they lose their turn. If the team solves the math problem correctly, they get a point. If they get it wrong, they do not receive a point. I will say that the first team picks number one, so the answer here is 80. If they get it correct, they get a point. If they get it wrong, they do not get a point. Then we have six, eight, 10, 12, 14. So obviously the answer is 10. And let's say the next team picks number three. Well, they got a kaboom, so that team loses a turn. And I'll flip through these slides too. And there you have it. Those are my favorite activities to use when I'm teaching my students skip counting. Again, you can go grab all of these activities in the description of this YouTube video or on my TPT shop, Activity Teacher. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Go ahead and comment below and let me know if you are a special education teacher and a little bit about yourself. I hope this video helped you. Until next time, happy teaching.